Hello there dear YouTube friends. In this video, we'll be looking on how to create this 3D looking bank cards that we can create in Figma. So that's the whole idea of this particular video is going to be all about. So I'll be giving you each and every single step and I'll be showing you guys on how I was able to make this particular 3D design in Figma alone. So that's the whole idea of this particular course is going to be about. So without further ado, let's get started. So currently I'm in my Figma uh, project here. So as you can see here, this is just a simple uh, Figma I can just create. So what I like to do, I just have to create an add button here in the, inside the pages here. So I'm just going to add a new page just like this. And once I add here, I'm just going to go to a blank feature. So I can just like make like this default color. So this is your default uh, Figma uh, canvas would look like. So next thing is to collect your assets so that you'll be able to be uh, get prepared and be standby with all the assets required here. So as you can see, these are the number of uh, just a few number of assets we, we would be like, uh, would be uh, collecting here. So as you can see, I have a, a white colored uh, uh, Visa logo as well as the normal Visa logo here as well as a MasterCard logo here. This is just so that I'll be able to place all of these logos on top of the bank card. It can be either a debit card or a credit card. So that's the idea. That's the whole point of this particular three particular uh, logos meant for uh, the bank cards. Okay. Next thing is that just next thing is just two uh, like how do you, how do you say this is called a mesh gradient uh, background as well as here. And those these two things are really easy to find here. Just go to go to I mean go to Google here. Just type mesh gradient something like this. And just gonna go to images here, and as you can see, there are far more many options here. And as you can see, this is the yeah, this is the one that I just uh, downloaded, and I just collected, and I just pasted it right here. Okay, so it's, that's how simple it is. You can just choose any of the two of this numerous number of uh, free, uh, freely available uh, mesh gradient over the internet. Okay, so just gonna just gonna close this tab here. So as you can see, once we are able to gather all of this particular, uh, there's a few number of uh, assets. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go to page three, which you have just created. So just gonna here, we're just gonna say, uh, I'm just gonna say new page. I mean, just so that we able to differentiate between the page one here. So in this new page, here, what I'll be doing here is that I'll be uh, starting with uh, going to a frame tool here. As usual so frame is the one that I usually will be picking for example let's go and just click on this particular frame tool here and yeah that's it just click on it and let's make a simple rectangular first here so okay just gonna make a simple rectangle like this just like rectangle and what what we can do here we can just change and let's give some some ideal very very ideal resolution for example let's give some the width about like uh, 650 just so that we'll be able to have a, a huge amount of space as well as let's give the height to be around uh, even more for example like 420 that would that would work I guess okay the next thing is that we would like to give some good uh, radial uh, corners for example there's corner radius here so in this case I'll have to give around like 40 40 pixels would definitely will be looking uh, really good so I'm just going to give 40 here and the last the next the la rest should be default just you can just keep it like as it is so like, that's it let's look at our uh, card here it's going to zoom a bit here like this so what we can do here we can actually have a look at this particular bank card here which exactly look like a, how a bank card should look like so let's look at the following uh, the next one is i would like to add some background inside this particular grid uh, uh, inside this particular frame uh, let's go to assets I'd like to pick this particular uh, uh, yeah background just which is a mesh gradient and I'm, I'm just gonna paste it right here by clicking on this particular layer so as you can see here this is a good seriously good looking uh, background which actually was able to complement to the particular uh, bank card here so I'm just gonna make it something like this and done and then we are done we just have okay let's let's allow to give like a a dark background like this okay should, we should be good okay the next thing i would like to add is i would like to add some inner stroke so inner stroke is basically it's basically some white color uh outline which only yeah which only covers only this part of this particular bank card here 
So what I do, what I do, I just like click on this particular layer again, frame, and then next thing is I have to go to uh, stroke here. For example, I have to add stroke here. Once I click on add stroke, next thing is I have to uh, give white color here. So just some white color. And next thing is I want to add some uh, just to give like 50% would be enough the opacity of 50% and the next thing I want to give is I want to add this particular strokes per side uh, option I like to enable it and also like to give it custom and also here I want to give 4 okay 4 should be good as well as here should be 0 which is on the on the right hand side should be 0 and the top should be 0 as well because we don't want we won't be doing the top and the bottom is what we're gonna give around four should be enough okay so that is that is the stroke part here as you can see we have some stroke on my left hand side and some bottom here and there's no as that and there's nothing on the top uh, right hand side at all so that's the whole that's the thing about uh that's that's the only thing that you need to do for four strokes next let's add some details to this particular bank card here details as in what is like let's this kind of logo here so first of all i'll have to click on this visa logo copy and it's going to paste it right inside here it's going to press it right here okay that should be good next is i want to add some numbers the number the bank card number for example some random numbers like this and just make sure there's four four i mean four sequence or well, four sets of uh yeah there's four sets of four digits okay this should be good and let's let's make it uh okay this should be good and one more thing will be let's make it Another, another detail on the bottom here. In this case, I'll be putting a name, person's name, for example, Edward and Hunt. This will be good. Okay. And I'm just gonna make this to be a uh, medium. And and that's it for now. Okay, that should be good. And let's make, make it a bit, this a bit more smaller, about like 20 would do, but oh, that's too small. Let's give like around 24. Oh, you can, no, no, no. I think it would be better if we just put it that should be good okay that's nice okay there you go guys so this is the simple uh, uh just design of the of the of the card itself so next will be the most important part in this case i'll be making this card look uh really realistic would be making its uh position how, how i'll be able to make it into a bank card looking uh position so that's the whole idea of this the next step so i need to click on frame here and next is I'll have to go to plugins. So in this case, I'll have to, I'm, I'm looking for a help from, from an external uh, uh, plugin from, from for, that's made for free. And you need to go to plugins here. You need to, you need to look for this particular uh, options called ESO metric. But usually you don't, you don't, you won't be finding it in your options because you need to download it by find, finding more plugins. So you need to type ESO as in ESO easy and just type ESO metric just look for this particular cube blue uh, button and then I need to click on run here as and and I've, I've already downloaded ESO metric so I'll, I won't be needing to download it anymore so in this case you will be once you have downloaded ESO metric you need to go to plugins and you will be on top you'll be on your options here <clears throat> so that's the whole idea of this particular uh, plugin so go to ESO metric and just go to uh, yeah top right just select this particular top right uh, action a top right position here and there you go this is the uh, this is the shape this is how your bank card would look like once you have uh, choose chose the isometric uh, top right option so this is the first step here but before this uh, this is the last step by the way so but but then before this i want to i want to have more bank cards like to be done in the same way for example I this is frame 1 here I like to also have frame two here, and <clears throat> in frame two, I want to have a different, uh, yeah, match gradient. I will choose this color. Just gonna paste it right here. Just gonna double double click on this, and just gonna make it like this. Okay, that should be good. And the next thing is I want to change this logo to uh, Mastercard. Just gonna select Mastercard. Just gonna paste it right here. Just gonna remove Visa. Just gonna paste it right here and boom that's all <clears throat> that's all we needed next let's make another card here and yep this one more card the last card and this is the third, third card here in this case i like to utilize my uh i mean utilize the glass morphism uh, effect here 
So in order to have a glass morphism, in fact, what you can do, we can actually uh, go to this particular field tool here. Okay, so you can go to the field tool. <coughs> you can actually just, uh, I mean, yeah, this is the one. Okay, for this particular layer, we don't, we won't be needing this image. So we can delete the image, this image as well. As you can see, when there's no image, it becomes white because that's the default color of the frame. So what you can do, we can actually uh, reduce the opacity to 10, uh, like very low. For example, let's give like 10%. Okay, there you go. And next is allowed to add uh, effects, some effects and also some, uh, not drop shadow yet, but we'll be adding something else, which is layer background, background blur. Okay, as you can see here, you'll be able to see whenever you, when you hover on top of other layer, the, the layer that, that that is uh, behind this particular bank card becomes uh, blurred. For example, let's say go and click on this and I will give like huge amount of blurriness, for example, like 100. <coughs> let's give 100. And no, 100 is too much, yeah, too much. Let's give 50. And yeah, 50 seems a lot as well. Let's give 25. Oh, okay. <coughs> yeah, 25 is just enough. And it seems 25 is still very thick. Let's not give 25, just about like 18 would do, I guess. Okay, about 13. Okay, I think, yeah, just let's go with 13, by the way. It's just, <coughs> yeah, it's just blurred enough. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it is blurry enough. Okay, and there you go. Next thing I have to change is this particular logo here. In this case, I would like to use, <coughs> utilize this particular white color Visa logo. So copy this, just gonna paste it right here. Oops, sorry, just need to select everything. And just gonna paste it right here, and just paste it right exactly here. Okay, that's just that's just nice. Yeah, let's give it a check. Okay, what you can do, we can increase the the opacity of the white color about like twenty five. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I think that should be good. About like twenty five, twenty should be good. Should twenty should be better. Okay. Okay, now we have the three bank cards which we just wanted to, I mean, you're gonna stack it vertically. So let's do the same isometric for all these three uh, bank cards here. For example, this is frame one. This could go, I mean, need to go to plugins here, isometric top right. And that's the first one. Second one, go to plugins, isometric and top right again. So we're just gonna make the layers to be correctly uh, arranged. <coughs> I have to place this frame to be on top of that. Okay. Okay, this should be good. I should have to place it on this on top. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing is this particular, the third layer, which is this glass morphism layer. The same case, uh, same thing, isometric. And top right and there you go just need to place it right here and make sure your bank card locates at the top something like this okay and there you go what do you have just find it here okay yeah before that let me just change this particular uh, color of the bank card here let's make it white white should be better <coughs> okay and white. let's make it make this white as well the texture and actually what you can what you can add is the the background here you can actually improve the background by changing to other colors for example uh, let's say a blue or any any other awesomely good looking colors for example like this like that yeah any yeah any colors would do by the way yeah okay and there you go guys what you have it right now is actually a 3d bank <coughs> set of 3d bank cards that you can actually utilize in your UI UX designs in the in your in your currently it can be either in your currently on your current project or your next future project. So thank you guys for watching this entire video and this particular video will be I hope that this particular video would definitely be helping you uh, in your in your design where you'll be need to utilize uh, implement this particular 3D bank cards. So <clears throat> hope you'll be able to understand what I each and every step that I have shown you and. And, I, and if you guys have any questions, just feel free to drop down in the in the comment section. So in, by then, I'll be able to improve myself as well. 
and also need to have more idea on what you guys are looking for in my next upcoming videos so that's it for me thank you guys for watching the the video till the end and we'll be and i'll hope that we'll be meeting in our next upcoming video with more and awesome content of to, uh, figma tutorials so till then cheese